Hi everybody, this is Boaz Feiler in Georgia and we're here with the daily astrology forecast for August 18th, 2016. So, I hope the lunar eclipse has been kind to you. It's early in your morning America, 5 a.m., so if you wake up early, you might see it. And it's around 11 a.m. Central European time, so Europeans, it will be blinded by the sun. So you wouldn't be able to see it, but you'd be able to feel it. And what does that lunar eclipse talk about? Well, remember that any lunar eclipse is occurring when the moon is full. That means that uh, the sun and the moon are in opposition. And in the middle sits the earth. So we have the sun here, we have the moon here, and we have the earth in the middle. And when the sun the sun's light is obscured by earth, the moon stops shining and then starts again once the earth moves a little. And the moon talks about our emotional identity, our inner world, who we are inside. And the moon is in Aquarius, talking about our place in society our place among our friends, among our social circles, among our clan. The sun is in Leo, talking about who we are on the outside, what we came here to create, what our heart truly desires to do here on earth, what is our role here on earth. So when this lunar eclipse occurs, this is a signal to flush out the old and to let in the new. And a lot of questions can come up to the table regarding who we are and our role in society. Are we sincere with our own heart's desires? Are these desires transparent to our friends, our family and our clan, our society? Are we sincere regarding our role and how we progress that role on the outside world in the realm of reality? Or do we just keep it inside? Do we live two separate characters in a sense? Do we do something that we don't care about? Are we missing what we came here to do? All of these questions that aim for recalibration, that aim for the moment that cocoon bursts open and a butterfly comes out and stretches its wings for the first time. This is the time we are talking about. And remember that Saturn and Mars are joining in the sky and our actions are being tested and judged. And we are asked to recalibrate ourselves. We are asked to look at our own actions and understand what needs to be left behind, what needs to change. As Rick Levine says, one of my favorite astrologers, and I recommend them highly, this is about learning how to live within our own rules. This is about facing reality and understanding the limitations and growing up in a sense, maturing to live the best way we can within those limitations, to work with those limitations in the best way possible so we can produce the sweetest fruit that we can. Remember that Mercury and Jupiter are still conjunct in the sky and they will be for a few days. This is a time of important information that flows into your life. So open those ears and open those eyes. And if you have some information, don't hold it inside. Let it out wisely, kindly, but let it out. Thank you for listening and I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. And if you do want to study evolutionary astrology with me, contact me. All the details are on the slide at the end of the video. Thank you on behalf of Georgia and myself. Bye-bye.